I'm Martin Kintella, Director of Advanced Materials and Process Technologies at Kamau. We're here in the Innovation Centre. We've got an Innovation Centre, a showroom, research and development area. We've got uh, laser labs, we've got material science labs, we've got metrology, uh, we've got all aspects. So this, this is not only a showcase area and a world-class showcase, uh, I might say, but it's also an R&D centre, uh, a testing area, we've got training going on, we've got, let's say, development work going on, but we're also doing now in terms of our 360 process. So we can look at a process, we can develop that process, understand how it's going to operate, and then through our materials labs, etc., we can then section, polish, understand exactly what's taken place with that process. The industry are investing heavily in terms of new materials because what was available a number of years ago won't meet the targets. Okay, so they're, they're having to reduce uh, the weight dramatically. Uh, let's say a 10% weight reduction in the vehicle mass gives approximately a 3 or 4% improvement in, in fuel economy. So therefore you can see that the, the quick wins in terms of the, uh, let's say the technology and the, and the new materials the OEMs are driving towards that. So it's a very interesting market at the moment because the OEMs are looking at all their aspects of the product. So not only what we call the body in white, which is the frame of the vehicle, but also in terms of engine technology, drivetrain technology, even down to wheel and tyre technology. So technology in terms of rolling resistance and, and aerodynamics is, is playing a part in that target to meet the 54. Uh, a couple of major trends at the moment in terms of the automotive industry is the uh, fuel economy and cafe standards which is uh, a standard that's driving the all OEMs across the board doesn't matter whether they're low volume high volume manufacturers to improve their miles per gallon uh, by various means so that therefore drives new technologies into a smaller confinement how those technologies work together uh, is a key process so could one impact the other we need to understand and, uh, and allow for that we also then need to understand in terms of the maintenance and the uh, throughput, how they affect each other and how we can then design a system to cater for that. We, we look at what we call, let's say, the manufacturability of the process. So can the different materials go together? What's going to join those different materials? Can the actual, the different joints and their configuration, do they assemble? You know, because uh, it's important that if we have a product that we understand very early on, can it be manufactured? Here, here within Kamau, uh, simulation or virtual world engineering uh, is, is mainstream, it's everything. Uh, for many years, we've, we've driven ourselves to be uh, at the forefront in terms of technology, to have it so we're actually producing a facility in complete virtual environment, okay? And when I say complete, complete. Not just in terms of just the robot, or maybe some of the tooling, complete in terms of cabling, auxiliary mounts, fence line, uh, what we call HMI human uh, man interfaces, etc. Every part of the process, because unless you have everything in the process, the parts you don't have are normally the parts that are going to cause you the problem. So uh, simulation and digital and virtual world are key components. The industry now has got a target that's not going to change. Uh, that's one thing that's not going to change, yeah? Uh, and the industry have to develop solutions and processes to meet that, that target. That's, that's driving us all to work very closely together. And I think really the industry needs to be more collaborative in terms of the, the working together, the sharing of knowledge, etc. Because um, there's some very good knowledge out there. And, and by working together, it's ensuring that overall the industry improves.